What's going on everybody? It's your host with the most tags and I'm here to give you another quick video editing tutorial. Today is going to be about how to create your own custom light leaks within Premiere Pro. You don't need any external plugins for this. This is all in-house editing. Okay, that means if you own the program, you don't need to buy anything extra. Everything that I'm going to teach you comes with the program. All right. So first thing I always tell you to do is duplicate the clip that you want to work with. Let's do that right now by pressing Alt and dragging the mouse up above. Now that you've done that, I want you to make sure you search for the effect for color gradient, right? You can find it in video effects, generate for color gradient, drag that to the top layer, the layer that you want to use the effect on. Boom. Now you see it gives you immediately four different colors, right? Uh, and we want to go to the effects control panel and now we want to uh, mess with the colors right so you see you could choose each color you could choose where the color points go um, all of that type of cool stuff so let's go ahead let's say I want to do like a, a sun a sunny color you know something something like golden hour kind of feel right so we got the golden hour feel point one let's say uh, I want to do that with I don't know, with maybe this one too, that I want to match exactly this same color. What I want to do is take this color picker tool, right, the little, the little sampler tool, and as you can see, anywhere I go, it's going to change the color as you can see on here. So what I'll do is just collect the same color as the orange and watch how it switches. Boom. Um, and then on this bottom part, I'm going to go black, right? So the reason why I'm choosing black is because once we finish this effect, any color that you choose that's black, it will not show as a color. It'll just show the original footage, right? So let's continue with this. Next step I want to do is add keyframes on point one and point two. And this is because these are the colors that I did not make black. I actually want to move them out of frame, both to the right. Let's say, let's give it like a negative 10,000. Or I'll give it a, that we're going with 10,000 value. Right, that's 1,000, 10,000, boom. Let's say this one also has a 10,000 value. One, two, three, boom. It's all black, and we got our keyframe. Let's say we want to go up a couple, let's say a second, and we'll bring this back to, we don't even have to bring it back. We can just bring this back to a negative, right? Turn this, turn this 10,000 to a negative. Turn this 10,000 to a negative, if it would let me. Uh, I got the negative value set. Let me write 10K in there. One, two, three. All right, negative 10,000. All right, so if you if this is done correctly, it should go in and out. You see that? It went in and out, right? That's exactly what we wanted. So now the next part, because we still don't see our footage, we just see color, then black. So the next part is to go ahead and change the blending mode to add, right? And that's it. Oh, you know what? Let's move the, let's move the animation out just a little bit more by highlighting the first part. Go to temporal inter interpolation. And put ease, oh, nope, my fault, ease out, not ease in. Put ease out. And then on the, on the last ones, you want to do the same thing, but change it to ease in. Okay, so now let's look at what we got. Ooh, that was kind of fast. You barely saw that, right? But it kind of works still. So if you want to slow it down, take the last two keyframes, drag it out some. Bang, see? Now it slowed down a bit. You see that? It came in as he looked up. So, you know, you could you can make it even quicker. Boom. You can make it even quicker. You ain't even see that when it was so fast. Let's run it back. See that? That was so fast. So yeah, I think it looks best when it's around this area. You can always really fine-tune it to the beat. Be like boom, boom. 
and say you want it to go right there on that boom boom and it's gone so let's see what happens bang you know what i mean perfect right on beat doom, doom, doom. but yeah man that's how you do it that's how you create a custom light leak by yourself you could change this color all you want what i will say is that not every color works best with a white background right sometimes it works good with a little bit darker because white is really um a collection of all the colors right so sometimes it, it doesn't pop as much as you would like like but go ahead try things out this is a great easy and quick tutorial quick easy effect for you to use in your footage and just give it that extra oomph, some spice to it so you know ooh, this looks different you know just give it some life but I hope that helps out, man. Until next time, keep on editing. I'll catch you later. Peace.